so Ezra is on our left and we have Janet on our right. So please just, you know, just share your hearts and souls like agape, which is, you know, unconditional divine love of God. What are your thoughts on that as a movement for all humanity to unite? Do you want to curse? Please. Sure. I think that all human beings need to open their minds, educate themselves, and realize that there's so much more to the word God than God. It is so much bigger than that, and that we all need to unite as one being to understand that no matter what we call our God, no matter what we call our Bible, that we all are looking for the same thing in essence, and that loving one another and being open-minded is the only way to get there. Ezra? So I take agape in more of the traditional sense, um, and even with that, I do think that agape or God or Allah or however you address that being um, is definitely more open than what you think it is. I think that it is very much a human movement. I also think that it is very much a way to express yourself um, because no matter what walk of life that you have, no matter what religion, no matter what orientation that you have, like agape, God, Allah, Ishwa, however you pronounce it, loves you. And no matter how it is, they accept you. Yeah, and sure. it is a way to live, and it is a way to love people, and it is a way to be. So that's that's how I find agape. That's that's Absolutely. very that's very beautiful. Now, Janet, let me ask you this. You have a unique background your father was in in, uh, in in ministry right official ministries how did that shape your mentality it made me realize that I need to be the one that's open-minded because too many people on our planet are not and with the, my privilege as a white woman I have a lot of privilege and that I can push myself forward to encourage people to realize that there's not one way all ways are correct. Every way that there is to love and accept and be open-minded is correct. And that there is no religion on this planet that will get you where you want to go because we're all going to the same place. Now you mentioned being white, you know, there's three white people here talking, um, me and Ezra and, and yourself. How does it sort of affect the dialogue, be, uh, us, the three of us being white, how does it affect us? It affects it tremendously because I think that the white individual has taken religion and twisted it into a way that it has to be a certain way and that it has to go a certain way and that it has to be followed a certain way and that's absolutely incorrect. All of us play a part in this universe and the sooner we realize that, the sooner we'll all be able to get along and then we'll all be able to become one. So what, when our physical hearts stop beating what do you believe will happen in the afterlife what happens when our when our hearts stop beating physical hearts i think when my heart stops beating them my my energy will move on to something else i can't tell you what i believe that is i honestly don't know i will have to experience it but i don't think that it's to be in some heaven or some hell i think that it will be recreated in some shape or form you cannot destroy energy it's a scientific fact it cannot be destroyed so my energy will leave this physical plane and remain somewhere, whether that be to come back as another human being or to just spread itself across the universe. I don't know what that is, but I believe that it will be there. So do you believe in reincarnation? You haven't formulated that path yet. I haven't completely decided. I don't know that I will ever decide. I think that most of my life is, is based on finding that pursuit and pursuing that knowledge and there's never going to be a finite answer as long as we live it's the pursuit of finding better that makes us better not deciding that something's better and if the agape movement would actually answer that very question very uh, effectively and very fully completely would you be satisfied i think so i think so um, agape meaning completely free and open is something I think we all strive for and that if we would just take a minute to stop and realize that the conditions the world has put on us are not the conditions that we actually live in, then we would change our mindset about almost everything. Janet, what would satisfy you in terms of like, let's say a miracle of sorts that needs to be performed for you to be a, I don't know, a convert, quote unquote, or something of that nature. If I what had wishes, and like, you know, if we're going to wish here and throw our wishes out in the air and, and, and nothing is of object, is that every human being's mind be open completely. And that if everyone's mind is open completely, we have the capacity to see beyond what's right in front of us and that we can 
build on one another. That that is that is that is remarkable. Now, Ezra, let me ask you this: yes. uh, as far as your belief system, what do you think is missing in the current organized religion, or just in our in our world today, where everybody's in a state of fear and panic and and disorder? What what is missing today? So I think acceptance is the main thing that's missing. Um, I I'm an atheist primarily because any sort of system I've ever been a part of that has a god with it has been very damning towards people who are open to all walks of life. Right. Um, I think that's able to change, and I do think that with, you know, the whole agape movement and with God being more personal, I would say, that that is subject to change. Um, but with specific religious backgrounds and with specific denominations and types that people follow, I think that a lot of it is very textbook and very much like close minded Do you need any special revelation from God or do you need any miracles to happen for you to have this sort of insp new inspiration, new faith, new belief to, for you to become alive again? No, I don't. Um, for me, it's what's missing for you? Uh, for me, what's missing for me is just acceptance. Like, um, Islam has been a very accepting religion. It's been a very um, open-minded religion. A lot of Muslims that I know have been very open to the fact that I am trans and the fact that I am also pansexual. Um, so for me to fully accept a religion, it's entirely just a like an, an acceptance of walk of life. 100% like, all yeah. over, not just sexuality, but the world at large. 100%. Yeah. Now, question for you, for both of you, uh, Janet and Ezra. Now, yeah. let me ask both of you, do you believe that in your heart of hearts that the biggest problem today with humanity, the fact, you know, the lack of acceptance, the lack of, oh, the, the cause of all of our problems is because in our ch early childhood development, perhaps, perhaps, something happened to all of us that caused us to experience this trauma that we haven't quite gotten over and if we did get over that trauma all of us as one human being you know holding hands and giving each other hugs that we could be a new type of civilization i'd say yeah yeah um i know for just me personally and I'll let you speak. Okay. um so personally i experienced some fairly severe childhood trauma and I think that led into a lot of what I believe now and I think that a whether it's a religion or a theology something that accepts that trauma and says you know what that was messed up but we accept you for what you are and we are 100% okay for what you're doing. Parental abuse? Yeah that that was um so specific trauma with me, you're totally free to put this on sure. air or whatever you have. Sure. Um, so I was, in my childhood, parental neglect was a big thing. Um, sexual trauma was a big thing. Uh, also, um, I don't know how to categorize this thing, you know, but like the fact that shit happened to me and I told my parents about it and they didn't believe it. I, d I don't know what that would be categorized. Denial. Yeah. Denial. denial. It's it's social denial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's social denial. The fact that parents don't want to believe that certain things happen that to their kids. That bad things can happen to their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that was a big thing in my childhood. And from that, I think that as far as religion goes, and specifically what you're talking about, so like agape, um, I think that is accepted. It's a new way of thinking, new way of uniting, new way of accepting, a new way of living. Yeah, and I, I gotta say, I, I don't know if this fits into what you're trying to do, but um, anything that bridges Catholicism with Judaism and Christianity in any sense. And beyond. Yeah. yeah and, and beyond, beyond. right. Yeah, and beyond. because if you, if you think about it, like all three of those like archetypes believe in the same main God. They do? Yeah. There are different sub sections. Subtexts, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. there are, but there there's that with everything. There is. 
But I believe with Judaism, with Christianity, with agape, that it is a good way to mend all of those together, especially with the trauma that comes with just living, because I feel like everyone has some sort of trauma. Now, Janet, let me ask you this. Now, you being of a very special background, you know, your father was a minister and you had very strict upbringing, I'm sure, and very religious upbringing. How did you transition into a different way of thinking away from that? Because uh, I was no less abused than Ezra was. I see. My father was a Saturday night alcoholic, Sunday morning Christian, and I was extremely sexually abused, abused growing up by my family. By your family. And because I believe 100% that every human goes through massive experiences, and it's how we look at those experiences that develop our lives. And if I looked at my massive experience, whichever one it was, as a negative that hurt me, I wouldn't be who I am and what I am. I truly believe in symbiotic balance. If we do not have the bad, we don't understand the good. And that if we don't have the good, the bad means nothing. And I think that's where Catholicism and everything comes in. They believe there's a good and evil, when in reality, there's no such thing as good and evil. There's just all of these experiences that round you as a human being and push your path forward and it's your choice what you do with it and I don't think that any religion on the planet has a place there I think that the universe in and of itself will say we're gonna move forward you could you know I could die today tomorrow you're not gonna stop doing what you do with your life it's not gonna change anything because I died the world keeps turning and time keeps going forward it's what you decide to do with that time that you have that makes all the difference I would agree with that, like, especially um, with my own life, I experienced a lot of, um, you know, this shit happened to you, and it only happened to you, it didn't happen to me. Mm -hmm. So I experienced a lot of trauma in the sense that it was very personal, and it was never shared with anyone. So whenever I became, like, as, as I grew up, as I became more of a teenager, like, as I became, like, 16, 18, 21, 25, doesn't matter, it was never shared with anybody because it was entirely me. And with what you were saying, um, it was, sorry, um, so with what you were saying, it was entirely, like, this is the social norm. This is what is going to happen at this point in time. This is what's going to happen at this point in your life. And there's no way to change it. Right. And that's not right. Because you could be... You could be 13 and experiencing a gay week. Mm -hmm. You could be 18 and experiencing a gay week. You could be fucking... Fifty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could be 50 and experiencing a gay awakening. And it's not... It's not the same at any of those levels. Like, it's different every it's single time. different. Now, what if it's beyond? Let me take you to a different plane. Much, 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 much higher than planet Earth. Much, much higher than gay or heterosexual. Agape love is the highest form of divine love. This is what happens to matter when it begins to glow. It's the uncreated light of God, which is the highest vibrational frequency in the universe. Meaning, you would be blinded if you could witness with your eyes, with your spirit. You, your spirit would be blinded if you could for one second be part of that agape presence because it's so elevated. We cannot even fathom how elevated that frequency so, is. So the point is, we cannot even, with our limited minds, we cannot even yeah, begin to accomplish yeah, so, That is the point. We don't yes, know. We yes. can only reach for yes. and we can only open our minds and yes. educate ourselves yes. and stop looking for the answer and start being the answer. Amen to that. As but that's the purpose of our agape movement is to unite under the auspices of that common goal. As as an atheist, yes. if I may say, and fully record this, put me wherever sure. you want. So, as an atheist, that's the goal I want. I want to be blinded by something so fucking majestic that it makes me insane. That's what I want. That's agape but, love. But are, but are we naive there? 
Uh, I could go into four hours of this. Are we naive to think that there is more? What is well, this that's, is well, that's the, the thing. more. Like, there as, is more. As, as there as is an, more. There is more. Atheist, though, there is more. That's the thing that I'm questioning because it's like, on one hand, I want to be like thrown into an insane whirlwind of magic, ooh la la, whatever you call it. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah. I would but, prefer that of a real life anyway. Yeah, <laughs> but that's like happy movement. Absolutely, <laughs> but with every movement, there is a logical grounding in it, and there is also a not with a happy oh, movement. That's the exception. See, that's the exception. This is what everybody overlooked for centuries. You see, for centuries, everybody's looking for a sort of a common sense, logical solution. But if you have traveled to the other side, as I have at the age of five, I shared with you the mm-hmm. story right. as a little boy, innocent boy was allowed to see the face of God, so to speak. So, And I brought back the knowledge, and I brought back everything that God has given me to unite all human beings on this planet. So may I say? Go ahead. May I say? So, as someone who has not done that, so as someone who is aware of what agape is, is aware of Ishwa, is aware of Allah, is aware of different religious majorities and minorities. I haven't seen that. Ezra, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And, and it's coming. It's but, coming. And I welcome but I'm it. Saying, I welcome yeah, it. it and, and I do too. Because, there, you know, despite, despite being an atheist, there is a part of me that is like, I want there to be a religious mm-hmm. Ezra, I'm speaking right now Obviously, we're all speaking unscripted language here from Mm -hmm. the bottom of our hearts, right? right? right. Absolutely. All you need that I feel is love. Mm -hmm. Not just love, but the only kind of love is agape love that could heal you, cure you, and give you, make you fulfilled in life. Can I be honest? Go ahead. So, with agape love, the only thing that makes me compelled with it is with the Jewish meaning. No, 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 it has nothing to do with Jewish or, or Catholic or it's no, beyond. It's just a word that I picked that sort of corresponds but, to that highest form of our God. But, it's a Greek word, by I, the way. It's Greek. It's not even I know, Jewish. I know, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. But can I be honest in yeah. the sense that, like, with agape love, yeah. specifically yeah. with that term, yeah. I think of Judaism. It has nothing to do with Judaism. It's beyond that. Beyond but that's, that's why I'm ethnicity. Well, no, it has nothing to do with you. Yes, God doesn't speak Hebrew. He doesn't speak Arabic. God speaks mathematics. God speaks higher mathematics. Have you heard of higher mathematics? Can I just say? Higher mathematics. That's fucking hot. <laughs> DNA. DNA. The human DNA. The galaxies are spirals.